Okay. This is disclosure I received. So, this is part two of, uh, of several parts I'll be doing. Um, so, yes, I was charged wrongfully for breaching this court order. Dated July 23rd, 2015, by the Superior Court of Justice, by this person uh, in Peterborough, okay? And as you can see right here, it states that this restraining order shall remain in effect until Wednesday, July 29th, 2015 at 5 p.m. So as of that day, at that time, this order, which lasted five, seven days, has expired. Okay. So now I was <clears throat> contacting my ex to um, see my daughter. Uh, I was a long haul trucker. Um, just wanted to spend a couple extra days with my little girl, you know. <clears throat> I agreed to a court order that I get her every other weekend, but there's no restraining order in it and there's nothing claiming or stating that I can't request extra time with my child. So that's what I was doing. So then what she did was she went to the police and said this. Here's the date of offense. She's claiming that between August 25th, 2016 and September 27th, 2016, she claims that I was breaching this that expired in 2015 and gave this court order to the cop. She actually admitted to giving it to the cop in another court document. In any event, I was charged. Uh, this is a big court order. And the charge was for breaching. Where is it? There it is. For breaching a court order by, that was issued on that day in Superior Court, okay? Ridiculous. So then, <laughs> so in uh, January, about a month after I was charged, I filed a motion to change the court order because obviously I was being denied at any extra time with my child by the mother, who she has no right to do that. So that's what she did. She didn't want me asking to see my child anymore, misrepresented an expired court order and had me charged. So I brought it to the attention of the courts. They wouldn't listen to me. I had to get a lawyer and uh, they finally withdrew the charge. However, when she was served in January of 2016 with the motion to change, she tried to do it again. Uh, and I didn't know that until I ordered the Freedom of Information. So I was making a complaint with the officer, or one of the officers that was involved, when she tried to do it a second time. Now here's the advanced investigation in that matter. And it says, she says, it is unknown, this female officer, it is unknown what PC Robertson asked at the time of the investigation regarding the family court orders. Okay, so that was the officer Robertson's the one that charged me in the original. This woman said that when she was conducting her complaint, she realized that the family court order that was supplied was expired. So she contacted the family court in order to obtain the most up to date one. This is evidence right here that my ex gave an expired court order to a police officer, invest in, <laughs> causing them to investigate in a crime that where there was no crime committed. They further state the charges were withdrawn and these two police officers don't have any involvement with that investigation. So it is unknown why the charges were specifically withdrawn. Well, why do you think they were withdrawn? Because it's expired. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God. So, um, they further state in this police report that, uh, they can't, that they couldn't charge her, um, with public mischief because they couldn't prove if the expired order is the only order that she gave the officer who charged me. They're saying they can't prove that that's the one she gave them, but yet in this officer's own notes, she states that that's the only one that she gave her. And that's indicated, as she says, that she realized after arriving back at the police station to conduct her investigation, that she realized it was expired and the next day received it from the courthouse. So what does that tell you? She obviously tried to give her the expired order again and did. And again, no charges laid for public mischief. That's twice. That's twice for the same expired order. And don't just take my word for it because that's the police report that has it. So there you go. More corruption.